Alright YouTube, today we're taking a look at a Wheatstone bridge, which is made up of three known resistors and one unknown resistor. Now given the voltage of the battery, as well as the voltage across our bridge, which is made up of a voltmeter or a galvanometer, uh, we're going to actually solve for the magnitude of that unknown. Now to start this problem, I want you to realize that a voltmeter has infinite resistance, or really it acts like an open switch. And so to get a better handle of what's going on in this problem, I actually want to redraw this circuit in a way that might seem more familiar to what you've seen in the past. See, because this voltmeter acts as though it's an open switch, really all this circuit is is simply two sets of resistors in series wired up in parallel with one another. Now we don't need to take the circuit all the way down to its equivalent resistance. Uh, we can solve for this unknown value R with what we have right here. See, so applying Ohm's law to the left side of the circuit, we can solve for the current through the left side of the circuit. See, there's nine volts across an equivalent resistance of four ohms. So solving for the current through the left side, we find there's 2.25 amps flowing through each of these resistors on the left side of this bridge. And now that we have that current through the left side of the bridge, we can solve for the potential at this point right here in our circuit. See, knowing there's 2.25 amps passing through this one ohm resistor right here, we know the voltage across the one ohm resistor, according to Ohm's law, is going to be the current, that's 2.25 amps, multiplied by the resistance, that's 1. Which means this point right here is 2 and a quarter volts lower than the potential at this point. Now the potential difference across this resistor and its usefulness is a little bit lost on this circuit. So let's look back over here. See, if there's 9 volts of potential across the battery, that means there's going to be 9 volts of potential at this point right here in this circuit, and 0 volts down here, assuming this is grounded. That also means that at this point right here, any current which passes through this 1 ohm resistor will have lost 2 and a quarter volts, which means the potential right here is 6.75 volts. So if there's 6.75 volts of potential at this point right here, and our voltmeter has a reading of one volt across it. That means there's two possible potentials at this point right here. Either one volt more than 6.75 or one volt less. Now, if you're working a problem like this and it's reasonably worded, they might actually tell you there's a one volt drop or a one volt increase in going from the left to the right side of the bridge. Uh, but just in case you've got some sort of professor or you're working on a problem uh, that's a little bit tricky, well, I'm going to work out both of these for you then. And regardless of whether the voltage increases or decreases in going across this bridge, the solution for both of these is going to follow the same method. It will just result in two different results for this unknown resistor. So starting over here, we know if the potential at this point right here is 5.75 volts. That means the current as it passes from this point with a potential of 9 volts to right here is losing 3.75 volts. But we can use Ohm's law to solve for that current through the right side now. And knowing all of the charge which passes through the right hand side of this bridge is going to pass first through the 2 ohm resistor, then through our unknown resistor. And knowing that there's 5.75 volts of potential between this point here and this point here, or really 5.75 volts across this resistor, we can solve for the value of R. So if there's a one volt drop across this bridge, that means this unknown resistor has a value of 3.54 ohms. And we can do a similar sort of calculation as though there had been a one volt increase across this bridge. And in that case, we find our unknown resistor has a value of 12.4 ohms. So this is how you solve for the value of an unknown resistor in a Wheatstone bridge that has a given voltage across the bridge. And on that note, that's all for now.